Hello, my name is Simon Shiltanis, and this is the first video uh, in the series of videos connected to the course Advanced Algorithms at Albuquerque University. The course builds on the first uh, course uh, on algorithms and data structures on the third semester. In this short video, I will uh, say a few words about the goals of the course. I will talk about the purpose of these videos and I will mostly focus on the prerequisites for this course. The main goals of the course uh, are threefold. First, we want to familiarize ourselves and uh, to be able to apply a number of algorithm design techniques. So after the course, hopefully seeing a new optimization problem we should be able to uh, think whether we can apply a dynamic programming algorithm or a greedy algorithm to solve that problem. Uh, then uh, we will talk about algorithm analysis techniques and see how they are applied. We will learn some, uh, at least one new type of algorithm analysis. Finally, we will talk, we will enhance our toolbox of algorithms and algorithmic ideas from different areas of computer science. This is probably the largest part of the course, just going through a number of examples and solving a lot of exercises uh, to, to, to work with these topics uh, and increase uh, the toolbox of, uh, of ideas. A few words about the purpose of the videos. The, the, the videos are supplementary material. They come together with the reading material uh, for lectures, but they do not replace the uh, reading material for the lectures. So, so to prepare for uh, a lecture, you have to read the reading material and you have to watch uh, a video or two and then hopefully later you can use the videos when solving exercises or before pre or preparing for for an exam the videos uh, will mostly include examples and going through examples demonstrating principles and ideas from the lectures on some specific examples um, they do not constitute a complete course, so you have to follow the main course and go to lectures and do exercises. Uh, now I'll talk about the prerequisites of the There are a few things you should be familiar with uh, or comfortable with to follow this course. If you are not comfortable or familiar with uh, uh, some of these uh, topics that I will discuss now, Please take a look at our textbook uh, and uh, refresh your uh, knowledge. So first of all, you should be familiar with the symptotic notation. You should know the definitions of big uh, uh, O, big theta, big omega, little o, and little omega. Uh, so at least big O, big theta, big omega, and little o, you will definitely meet those in our course. You should, for example, be able to say that this kind of function n squared plus 10 times n times log n is big theta of n squared. Um, likewise, to be able to simplify functions using uh, asymptotic notation, you should be able to compare uh, different functions that we need when analyzing the algorithm. So, for example, you should know that any kind of polynomial function like this, n, n to the power of one half or square root of n, grows faster than log n. And so we write log n is little o of uh, square root of n. Likewise, any uh, exponential function grows faster than any polynomial function. Uh, so uh, 1.5 to the power of n uh, 
grows faster than uh, n squared. Uh, a few words about the notation. Uh, we use the same notation as as uh, is used in the textbook. So, Lg of n uh, is defined as logarithm base two of n. Likewise, Lg uh, superscript k of n is just log of n to the power of k. You should be familiar with sorting algorithms, although it is not necessary to know the inner workings of uh, uh, the algorithms that we covered uh, in the basic course, except for the merge sort, which I will mention later. But you should at least know that, for example, a, uh, the lower bound for sorting is um, n log n. Uh, if we assume the comparison-based model. Um, you should be familiar with divide-and-conquer algorithms. Um, specifically, uh, a good example of divide-and-conquer algorithms, the merge sort. You should know how, how it works. Uh, you should be able to analyze divide and conquer algorithms by writing recurrences and then solving recurrences, finding solutions to, to recurrences. So, for example, you should be able to see, uh, uh, to write uh, that the running time of merge sort can be described by this kind of recurrence, um, where, in particular, if we have an, an input larger of the size larger than one then the running time of a merge sort is uh, uh, equal to two times uh, the running time of merge sort on the input that is uh, half as big as the original one plus n. And you should be able to solve this recurrence saying that the solution is uh, the well-known uh, well n log n, which means that the merge sort algorithm uh, is uh, optimal in that the running time of merge sort is equal to the lower bound of sorting. You should be also familiar with the basic principles of dynamic programming. We will dwell much deeper into this topic in this course, but you should be familiar with the basic principles. You should know the basic data structures, such as stacks, queues, uh, obviously, uh, but also uh, some a little bit more advanced data structures, such as data structures that implement priority queues, such as binary heaps. You should know what operations do they have. Mm, you should know uh, what are the running times of these operations. You should know uh, what are the red-black trees. It is not necessary to know the inner workings of these trees, which are quite complex, but you should at least know what um, are the running times uh, of the operations of red-black trees and what can we use them for. Uh, finally, you should be familiar with graph algorithms. First, you should know what, uh, how graphs can be uh, represented in data structures in memory, then you should be familiar with uh, basic graph traversal algorithms such as a depth-first search, a breadth-first search. Um, you should uh, be familiar with what is a topological sort um, and how to do it algorithmically, for example, with, a, uh, with the help of um, depth-first search. Then uh, you should know what is a minimum spanning tree and how to find one, uh, for example, using the uh, Prim's algorithm. Also, uh, how to find shortest paths using algorithms such as uh, the algorithm of Dijkstra, or if we have a direct cyclic graph, a, a simple algorithm uh, using um, depth-first search.
in the next video uh, we will uh, start delving into uh, dynamic programming and we will look at a an example of uh, dynamic programming.